the one with Russ is a brilliant episode of Friends for several reasons. I'll discuss this primarily without spoilers, but then I will give a couple of thoughts on some spoiler things towards the end. This is the 10th episode of the second season of Friends, and this, the main narrative, the title, is Rachel starts to date somebody called Russ, and Russ looks exactly like Ross. Now, what's really interesting about this for me is that when I was younger, I did not know it was David Schwimmer playing Ross. He looks so different. His mannerisms are different because of his hairstyle being different. It gives his face a different appearance, a different shape, because obviously hair can change the way your face looks. And I honestly, it, it, it took me quite a while to realise that it was actually David Schwimmer and his performance is brilliant. It must be quite peculiar playing somebody, playing a different character, but still having the same mannerisms and the same intonations. And I think he does an absolutely fantastic job with it. It's also shot very, very well, especially when we have Russ and Ross on screen at the same time. I think it works wonderfully. Rachel can't see this, but everybody else can. And I think the way that that part of the narrative played out um, worked really, really well. We also have Fun Bobby. And very early on, I think in the opening scene, the gang voice concerns to Monica that maybe Fun Bobby drinks a little bit too much. And she voices this to Fun Bobby. And what happens as a result, I thought, was pretty interesting. Maybe a little bit too much too soon, a little bit unrealistic. But it certainly worked well for the narrative. Joey also has um, a dilemma. He's up for a part and he's going to get this part if he sleeps with somebody. But he doesn't want to do it and I think it's a really great character development for Joey to see that actually he wants this part and he wants to have this quality acting career off of merit, not off of who he sleeps with. And again, what happened with that I thought was great and I'll talk about that with a spoiler warning because it's a pretty big thing. Really enjoyed this episode. Something that is a big takeaway for me is Steve Sleeve. I, I say Steve Sleeve so often that it's probably annoying. Um, I feel like Phoebe is one of the most accidentally quotable friends to the point where things she says becomes part of everyday vocabulary. And I love that. I really love that. Russ is brilliant. And I think it's definitely one of the best shot episodes. There are not many episodes of Friends that are that intricate to film, but this one definitely would have been and uh, it, it worked very well. So spoilers, a couple of things that I want to talk about. Spoilers from now. I guess the big one is that Joey ends up getting a part on Days of Our Lives and this obviously impacts episodes in the future. Really happy for Joey. Obviously I know what happens with this uh, with his character, but it's kind of a start of a new chapter for Joey, which I think, you know, it, it, it makes sense. Had he spent 10 seasons being a mostly out of work actor with no success and no real career, it would have dragged a little bit. It would have got old really quickly. It's important to give him these opportunities to grow through his career. The other thing that I love, uh, it's a spoiler. Um, <laughs> well, I hadn't expected Julie to come into it, but it made perfect sense. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that as well. It's definitely a really entertaining, well-written, very well-shot episode of Friends. And even though I don't think it's the most iconic, for example, if I said, name your top 10 favourite episodes of Friends, I feel like very few people would name the one with Russ. But having said that, it's pretty flawless and definitely a really quality episode. <laughs> 